Uh, I'd like to call to order our school committee meeting. It is September 5th, 2017. It is 7.30 p.m. As a reminder, this meeting is being both audio and videotaped. And if we can now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, we have roll call starting on my left. Bill Fonseca. Rich Fichero. Gregory Thompson. Deirdre Mayhew. Gordon Smith, Superintendent of Schools. Elizabeth Marcy and Boucher. Valerie Anier, the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum, Instruction, and Assessment. Pamela Blair, Assistant Superintendent for Business. Kathy Salani, Recording Secretary. Excellent. And just a reminder, Ali Stevens, our student rep, won't be joining us this evening. Okay. So moving down the list, we have the approval of the August 11th, 2017 regular meeting minutes. Make a motion to approve the August 11th, 2017 regular meeting minutes. A second. I have a second. Okay. I'm just trying to scroll it down here. Um, One note under absent. I wasn't here as well. I think that's already been discussed. So that's what I was looking at to yep. see if this is the one. So we have to amend. Amend. So we'll need a motion to amend the agenda to include. I move to amend the agenda to include oh. under absent um, Bill Fonseca. A motion made. And also um, the vote. The vote. I'm sorry, this was the second one that had also the vote. Um, I make a motion to follow up with Beth mm -hmm. to uh, change the vote for the, that kindergarten oh, yeah. motion from five A's to three A's. So we have those two corrections. I'll second. Okay, second. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor for the amendment, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Okay, I'm going to abstain. You have to abstain. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll so, abstain. Yeah. 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 Just to clarify. Well, no, I can vote. We can vote no, on the amendment. you can vote on the amendment, right? We can vote on the amendments. We can't Are you vote. making one motion or is that two motions? Just I for Kathy's clarification. Oh, right. Well, we should I vote guess. twice then if you're going to do that. Do you want to do it again? All right. Well, why don't should we just can and we scratch that? Both? Do you want to well, you can make it in one motion. Send the motion and make yeah, one, can one make a motion for two amendments. First, to add Mr. Fonseca's name to those absent, and the second is that we change the vote for the kindergarten position from five to three. Okay. So that motion's been made. I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion on that? Okay. All those in favor of the amended motion, uh, the amended um, meeting minute, please say aye. 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 So I wouldn't abstain from the. Okay. I wasn't there, so. Okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> all those opposed, nay. So that's going to carry forward four, oh, three zero with two abstentions. So now we need to go back and we need to approve the <laughs> August 11, 2017 regular meeting minutes. Make a motion to approve the August 11, 2017 regular meeting minutes with the amendments. I'll second. And second. And any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. And then again, Abstain. two abstentions. Two abstentions. So abstentions. it carries three zero, two abstentions. Thank you. Excellent. Cool. So yeah, <laughs> That's the hardest thing on that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we also have another set of meetings minutes to approve. We have the August 21st, 2017 regular meeting minutes. Move to approve the August 21st, 2017 regular meeting minutes. Okay. I have a motion. I'll second. And second. And any further discussion? All right. Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. All right, that one carries, one of, okay, carries forward four zero one abstention. That's right, you missed two of them. It was the same lady, wasn't it? No. I agree. All right, moving on, we have committee and subcommittee communications, and we'll start with Bill, if you have anything you want to add for No, tonight. just a good job at uh, convocation. I mean, it was a great welcome back. Everybody was enthused. It was a good, great way to kick off the year. I've heard from many different people uh, just a uh, very positive opening, for the, for the, especially for the children. Very part of the open for the kids, which is nice to hear. Yeah. yeah, my kids are psyched. Glad to be back. Well, as glad as it can be. <laughs> <laughs> but so far, so good. Yeah, we've had a great transition too, and I know we'll start with a lot more meetings oh, yeah. with our subcommittees coming up shortly. So I have nothing else to add. Yeah, I don't either. Other than I know my kids happy, so I'm happy. There you go. Yep. <laughs> great. All right. So moving on. This is an opportunity for visitors to address the committee. Seeing none, we'll move on. We have presentations. We have Superintendent's Report 5.1.1, Opening of School Update. Okay, so basically adding to what all of you said, uh, in your packets I did something new, um, sort of took the opening of the year and gave you some 
statistics, if you will, some numbers. Um, the convocation, the model that we're using seems to work. Uh, we had Ross Weinberg, who is class of 2007, come back and address our teachers, and uh, he really did a spectacular job, mm -hmm. I thought, and connected with not only the entire audience, but uh, it was really neat to see after convocation how many teachers came up and talked with him and connected right. with him personally. Um, so it was a great That's way great. to start. Yeah. Uh, so the first item in here was just a quick survey using Blackboard Connect of our staff and um, although it, you have to get it live to participate, which is uh, a little bit of a, a drawback, but it becomes somewhat quick hitting if you will. You can do a one or two question, <coughs> um, you don't want to go too lengthy with these, maybe a three question. Um, and so we got 88 people to respond. and. Um, First one was just simply, did uh, the convocation meeting present you with a message that was helpful and set a focus for the school year? And we saw um, 45 of the 88 strongly agree, 39 agree, and uh, we had uh, three disagree. Uh, with one strongly disagree, but um, I have found out since uh, the survey has gone out, that's a, an employee who retired last year. And I think his disagreement was due to the fact that I had not removed him from Blackboard Connect. <laughs> so, um, and we got equally high um, approval ratings for the length of convocation. So obviously, as we know, um, teachers on that first day certainly do want to be welcomed back, want to say hello to their colleagues, uh, but they also want to be in their classroom eventually and start setting up for the next day. So I wanted to share that with all of you. Then um, I gave you a breakdown of our enrollment. Uh, and this was really uh, to accomplish uh, a couple things. As you all know, we had a, um, a special meeting this summer around uh, our kindergarten enrollment, and uh, that first page in your packet shows that our kindergarten enrollment is up to 186 students. So it's right now the largest grade at Meadowbrook. Uh, with the possibility, I believe, of being at 187 this week, because I don't believe an enrollment that came in late in the week well, well, um, just was added in to these numbers. Yeah. So we're obviously looking at that very closely, and um, we will hopefully be able to start to see, is this something that is just a bubble that may go through, or is this the start of what in the facility study uh, was predicted to be um, somewhat of a slow growth for about two to three years as the economy recovered. Yeah. Um, so we're going to continue to monitor that and as we start to get to budget time look at um, not only birth rate but uh, what uh, home sales may be, that type of thing so that uh, we can start making some hopefully very uh, solid predictions. Now the fourth and fifth grade are up there. Is that just yeah. because more? I know more always get added on as you go along. Mm -hmm. But they're were they that high when they were back at Meadowbrook? Um, actually, Meadowbrook and Maple Shade, uh, excuse me, uh, Mountain View and Maple Shade are about the same size as they were last year. Okay. But um, you, you are seeing a smaller third grade across the town, if you will, of the two schools, and about an average size um, um, third and fourth grade. Um, the middle school, the, the largest grade in the district is at the middle school, it's eighth grade. Yeah, right. So our eighth grade right now is 230 uh, students. So, But you know, I mean, if you look at that though, our ninth grade, because that's my son's grade, is one of the smallest. It's 180. Correct. So yeah. right, the yeah. one right yeah. above it right. is a lot less. Yeah. So the middle school did uh, pick up a number of new yeah. enrollments, so those could be people moving into town. Um, as a district right now, pre-K to 12, we're about 15 students um, higher than we were last year. In the total number? Yeah. That's not counting out of district students. No, I'm sorry, 12 students. So right now we're 12 students over where we were in June, not counting out of district students. Since we broke it up for males and females, I'm going to ask the question. In third grade, if you look at third grade both schools, mm -hmm. we have 110 males in the third grade. We have 70 females in the third grade. Is that is that correct? That seems uh, that's according statistically to statistically. Yeah, it's according to our software. We weird. I can look yeah. into it. Yeah. 
Basically what I do to get these tallies is I go into the student information database um, for this year and then run this report, okay. um, the most up-to-date uh, enrollment information that they have. Is the really Ross increase? I'm counting 26 students across the uh, district. Um, it goes up and down. It depends on whether the students are capable of mainstreaming and, and at what grade level they're capable of mainstreaming. Uh, generally, we'll see our highest numbers at the high school, with the next highest being at the middle school. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And then um, grade 97 is um, the Lower Pioneer Valley Educational Collaborative. Oh, okay. We do run one program, and it's here at the high school. Um, the member districts are often asked to house different programs. Um, we've always run the one at the high school. I'm not sure that we've run a, an LPVC program at any of our other schools, but if you uh, look at Longmeadow, they have one operating at Glenbrook. Um, if you look at uh, Hamden Wilbraham, they have a program for the LPVC running at Minichog. Um, Ludlow had one at Ludlow High School. So it's something that all the members um, do end up uh, setting up and helping because they're all members of the same collaborative. Yeah, right now there's three programs at Ludlow, <coughs> Ludlow High. Okay. Yeah. So with the numbers for the high school, is that more or less an average that we have at the 853 is our enrollment? Is that a typical um, number for Last year I want to say we were at 860, but I don't have that right in front of me. Um, so yeah, it's, it's about the same. But again, that seems like a small ninth grade class. Yeah, it's a small ninth grade yeah. class. Yeah. 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 So that'll affect that bottom line. If you're, you know, know, as it moves through. I mean, as a district, right now, if I, I'm assuming we're, we may increase before October 1st, but that's when they'll um, take the snapshot, so to speak, and those will be the numbers that the state will set our Chapter 70 money on. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right, so thank you for that update. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I also gave you bus information. Uh, again, that was. Um, just another way to look at the opening and uh, the interesting piece there is not only that we have uh, um, 1,612 riders at the moment signed up, mm -hmm. is that as of August 1st, when the deadline came due, we only had 1,350 wow. registrations. Yes. So uh, it's um, a, a large compliment to Mrs. Saletti, to Mrs. White, to Mrs. Becker. Um, in the work that they did in uh, the constant revolving door right. of people coming in yeah. to register. I know. It was uh, very busy. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I, I when I came in, I would witness, you know, well, I a wait line of yeah. a couple of people. Well, <clears throat> and if, if we were to stay strictly to policy, policy says they would have to wait till next week to get on yes. a bus, but I'm pretty sure we've been able to get everybody on a bus and mm -hmm. they, they will start this week. Not everybody started last week. Right. Um, right. We guaranteed the the original 1351 um, or 1350, but uh, we well, worked nice very hard. To the office staff. Right. I mean, you know, you do kind of gotta wait. Absolutely. You didn't do yeah. it. You warned right. us. You know. So yeah, I checked with Becky to make sure she was still sane as this. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I signed up on the very last day. And, and they do. You get the form. You get it early. Yeah. But you know, it's summer vacation. People are just yeah. sort of absent-minded. Yeah, and it, that the. And it was the, the oops, August first deadline. Yeah, it was like the, you know the oops, the oops factor kicked yeah. in. Yeah. So I have two at Birchland now, and then their bus is full oh, still to packed. capacity. And so I'm looking at the numbers: <coughs> Birchland Park Middle School at 443, mm -hmm. Meadowbrook School at 439. But we're actually uh, combining the high school with Birchland right. Right. at 748. Nowhere near anything else in their schools. Is it? Is that a pattern that we should start to look at in terms of are we buying buses, are we running buses for one route, thus the rest of the routes are lighter than the first? Meaning we have 748 kids on route one, loop one, right? Mm -hmm. That's the high school in Birchland. On each route following the other two routes, we are 400-ish. 
a lot, considerably less. Right. Right. Well, like so, Meadowbrook kids, they drive down the street and drop them off almost right. in front of their house. Whereas the high to, school yeah. and middle school kind of dump them at the end of their main drag and they walk. Some uh, that's not as not all. No, I know. Right. What you're right. saying, well, it is partially. I think that partially answers it. Takes more time. time. Right. right. Yeah. Constraint. Right. And they, um, it's capacity right now issues. We are, yeah. we are balancing. So I think on the the bus route that you're talking about, as of Friday, we were moving um, possibly two stops over to another route. Okay. And I think well, also, and I don't know how they yeah. do it when they look for numbers, but I think sometimes what happens at the high school and the virtual level, they're thinking maybe some kids can fit three, three to a seat, and right. we just no. cannot yeah, possibly that, that, yeah. no. not get level. three to a seat, not or even that. two to a seat right. sometimes. Yeah. They, it's hard, and I know that but I've there are biggest, happen. there are, well, Largest Besides number, Meadowbrook, largest number of riders, right. mm -hmm. and so if we're combining those two, I, I know when I was here, we didn't do that. I mean, should we look at not, I don't. I know it may not be popular, but to go back to four runs, which may require less buses. Be because are we, are we operating at a capacity of 748 because we have one run that has that many kids, whereas the other two are 60% of that? Could we get rid of 40% of our busing? Maybe not because of the timing of the, the, the loop. Right. The, the challenge no, would be not the start bus time. Right. Professional. No. Yeah. So um, we could certainly take a look at it um, in terms of how we're routing, but you would probably need to move back um, your times. Yeah, no, and I, 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 I recognize that. And that's the way it used to right. be, because I believe we had four runs when I was going through four the system. Tiers. Okay. Yeah, and so I, I I really haven't analyzed these numbers before, and it just kind of sticks out of me that, you know, Birchland Park is the largest one, and, and mm -hmm. the high school is the third largest, and we're actually combining those for one run. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and of the 305, I don't, I wouldn't say that all 305 ride right. every day. Yeah. That's more of a, oh, I want to make sure I have the option. But we'll see um, this week that start to But they're all paid, out. correct? Yeah. yeah. Well, for the most part, yeah. And then also with the high school yeah. come the afternoon, it's a There's completely no different situation. Nobody no one's on the bus. Yeah. yeah. Because they're all staying for some But it's certainly something school. to look at. Right? Yeah, and I, maybe I'm just feeling it because I have two, yeah. like I said, at Birchland, and, and, and now looking at these numbers, are, are we staffing and, and are we running enough buses just for that first run? The other thing is, too, I know, uh, like, good amount. My daughter just takes the bus in the afternoon because when that bus drives by at 625, we're not on it. But And I wonder how many families just do one way one way or the other. Yeah. I guess that's something well, to, it's a safety to put into yeah. it. In case something happens, right. you can right. just put the kid yeah. on the bus. You see fewer from the high school in the afternoon. Right, that's exactly safety. it. I think it's the always morning, fewer. Not, not, not needing the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't back know. It's when, when I mean, I know here. there's a, a logic to yeah. it all, but it, those, those numbers just kind of really stick out. Um, I think it tends to be a work in progress. As I think described. so, too. I think every year it starts off a little, you know, the, the buses might run a little later, and, and we have to adjust runs. Yeah, and, and that's fine. I'm just saying, are we staffing and are we buying buses just for, for Route 1, for Loop 1? Right. Yeah. If we were buying it for Loop 2 and Loop 3, we'd need less buses and less drivers. Right. I was surprised when, these, when I saw the numbers for the first time that Mountain View and Maple Shade being down so much in that car line. I mean, the car lines must be... Horrendous for those. We have some pretty good car lines. Yeah. Because That's I'm the not other out thing. there anymore. I'm not so out there. now that we're talking about car line, thanks, Bill, for making it. No problem. <laughs> I've had multiple people ask me to look into uh, mm -hmm. the Mountain View car line and specifically the afternoon one. I've been in it before. Um, we need to look at that. But didn't it just move? Because of car line? Did it move? No, no, it it moved last night. Oh, Meadowbrook. Meadow 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 yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. That's because right. of how people have to line up and go in? As because of how people have to escape from that driveway. It's, it's almost yeah, like you can across. only take a right-hand turn yeah. if people want to go left. Yeah. You know. Coming we out. should look at that. Really uh, maybe we get the safety right. officer to look at that. Okay. I think that's a good suggestion. That's time. I was out there a couple of times in uh, May. And Near Mrs. Yeah, that yeah. Hand, yeah. Uh, they're flying. They're flying. They're flying on that road. Yeah. And, and you get a big SUV or a truck. Yeah, yeah you can't On your left. You can't see. Well, you got some uh, walkers got, too, which made me nervous. Well, they it's hold the walkers. Afternoon car line. Yeah. Afternoon car line. They yeah. hold the walkers till they yeah. hold the car line the is done, right? Through, yeah. Which is that? That's why. Which is good. So you're right. saying people yeah. are having a difficult time getting, getting out. Getting out. Getting to get out the, uh, the front of the school there. Yeah. It's a right. skinnier driveway, Who, and you have people entering. the left entering. side there of the coming out? 
Who uh, owns it? Yeah, is, is that our, uh, there's some land there. There's a sidewalk, there's a farm. No, there's, there's a farm. farm. No, there's property there. Yeah. That's, not ours. <clears throat> That's not ours. It's got to be said, folks, that the busing here is probably the best babysitter you could get for the fee that you pay. <laughs> <laughs> honest to honest, it really commercial. is. <laughs> but it is. You know, yeah. you, it's, it's the, I think we've got great safety. I think our bus drivers are, no. you know, really good at what they do. And when you see that little darling go on that bus, you know they're great until they get off. And it adds an hour to your day. This commercial was brought to you by. <laughs> I'm just saying because it is. You, you know, you think yeah. you're saving money, but in the end, no. it's, it's, you know. Well, you want to be, to your point, you want to be assured that everything is going to be good when, yeah. when your little one gets on a bus. Yeah. And I think we do, to your point, we do a great job. And I used to follow the bus in when they were little. Did First you really? Day of school, sure. You're that mom. Are you Absolutely. kidding me? I never do. I'm that mom. <laughs> <laughs> I go to work. I will say that the buses look good. They're clean. Yeah. The drivers are friendly. I'm very friendly. Uh, our yeah. driver, you know, will wave. Uh, um, yep. And so I think they're doing a, a good job at that since we're talking about yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that you gave us that update. That was, I think, our first time seeing a lot of yeah. information. So it was good to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to move on to our assistant superintendent for business report. We have our 5.2.1. We've seen a lot of these gift donations yeah, before, so yeah. we'll just have just a, motion a motion for it. Okay. I'll move that we uh, accept the Birchman Park gift donation for from Red Robin Kula Foundation for $12.20. Okay, motion made. Second. And seconded. Any further discussion? Really? Is this Tim Allen's signature? Really? <laughs> yes. That is brutal. Yes. I mean, that really I'll try is. to match that one. <laughs> Never get in trouble. The rest of the is not much better. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. No, that's uh, anyone else want to add anything? No. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. And that carries forward 5 0. All right, moving on to 5.2.2, we have the 2017 to 2018 school year grants. Yeah, so in your packet is the list of the grants. Uh, right at the top, we have the federal grants. So, uh, special ed allocation, that uh, pays for a portion of our early childhood liaison <coughs> position. We have the special ed IDEA grant. Uh, do I need to list off each of the amounts? They have to be voted separately? No, no. no, no. so I can just do a bottom Total. line. Thank you. So the, um, that pays uh, special ed out of district tuitions. The Title I grant, um, did I miss the 2A? Title, Title 2A, 2A grant, thank you. That's really for quality professional development. Um, Title, Title I is uh, this grant supplements uh, the budgets in our Title I schools. We have the METCO grant, these are the two state grants, the METCO grant, which supports the METCO program with staffing, supplies, and transportation costs, and uh, through the DPH, uh, the Essential School Health Services, which supports health services across our district. And lastly, we have uh, what is formerly called the CPC grant, they now call it the IPL. It's through the Ludlow, um, Ludlow Schools, uh, manages it, and this grant pays for a portion of the early childhood teacher at Meadowbrook. Uh, the bottom line is one million four hundred eighty-six thousand six eighty-nine, and I would like you all to know that that is up about seventy-one thousand dollars from last year. Wow. Some wow. grants went up, some grants went down, but the bottom line is we are up about seventy-one thousand. Cool. Oh, good. That answered my question. Okay. Yeah. So, can I make a motion to accept the 2017-2018 uh, grants as presented by the Superintendent of Business? Very nice. All right. I'll second. second. Okay. Any further discussion? All right, hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Harris Ford, 5 0. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're moving down to new business. We have 7.1, the Unit E Power Professional Contract. <clears throat> I move that we uh, approve the Unit E Power Professional Contract uh, dated July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2020, as discussed in the executive session. Excellent. Motion made. Second. And seconded. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. Thank you for your work on this. Yes. Excellent fun. <laughs> and all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Carries forward 5-0. And coming down to 7.2, we will need a school committee rep for cafeteria negotiations. I did it in the past. Did I'm willing to do it again, yeah. Well, let, me, let me ask a big picture. Are we doing unit A? Coming yeah. up this year? We have yeah, unit A, we have cafeteria, yeah. Okay. Yeah. and we have uh, bus drivers. So Bus strike was again so soon. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's normal. So, so Greg and I will be doing UNA. Yeah, I'll do cafeteria. Did you, did you, well, we don't have the other she ones. She just did para. Oh, she just did para. para. She yeah. has done bus drives. I have done bus, buses. Yeah, so she's a veteran. I'm a veteran. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I move that we appoint uh, Mr. Francica as the school committee rep for the cafeteria negotiations. Okay, the motion's made. I'll second it. And seconded. 
Uh, any further discussion? Will you accept that? Oh, You'll yeah. be fine with it? All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Carries forward 5-0. And with that, we are going to say thank you to Mr. Mackey for being here this evening. And with that, we'll need a motion to adjourn. So moved. All right, second. Question. Oh, for, oh. I'm sorry, Chair. Are we doing this? This might this uh, Eric Lesser uh, invite. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a date of a school community meeting. Now, I thought the 25th was our <clears throat> professional development meeting. It is. So it's our meeting. It's not. Yes. It's not a. Um, oh, it's not a formal. Are you right. sure that's the day? The 18th okay. is the formal meeting. The 25th yeah. is yeah. week. Formal. I mean, is this something which people feel is important? I mean. What is it even about? I think somebody's He's holding town it's meeting. It's like his town meeting type style where you get a chance to um, sit and talk about. It wasn't because it's at 6 o'clock before the actual <laughs> I'd be willing to go to it. I, I was going to. Well, there are, you know, there are several around. There's one in Ludlow, there's one right. in Belchertown. But this one's Springfield. This one's in Springfield. That's you the always, one that he, You can always move your meeting time or date. Right. Is that, that was a professional development meeting um, specifically to look at the draft of the SMART goals right. and see if the committee would like to put some overarching goals that connect, um, as well as uh, just take a look at the MAC evaluation. Now, is that letter specifically for education, that town hall? No, it's not a whole topic. All different groups. <clears throat> all right. But it's, you know, I think it's important that we... Right, I think show face the there. officials ahead of the meeting. They so are. It's an invitation right. ahead. Yes. Well, is that in our boxes? The, the so email you went to... You get the email. Yeah, it was an email. email. It, oh. was, it went to Deidre, but it was actually... If you read the email, went to, somebody sent it to all of us. Right. But it was... Dear Chairman yeah. Mayu, so. Well, what about before the agenda of the 18th? We'll make a decision. If we, some people want to go, and then we'll look at the 25th. Well, the only thing is, we're supposed to RSVP so they can put everybody on a list. Right. Wait. I think it's. Oh, until Mike o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what time did we say for the professional development? We had six at 6 p.m., but uh, assuming that can be changed. Well, well the thing is, I think that would only be from six to six thirty because then it's going to like a bigger. Well, I don't think we should forum. walk out of the forum. Though. No, okay, you don't so want to. You don't want to really walk out because. Let's. We can figure this out. I'll second the motion to adjourn. Okay. okay. So, uh, any further discussion on our adjournment here? No. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay.